Okay. I'm Mr. Dilda and I'm here with my lovely assistant, Miss Danny. She is the oldest of my daughters. Go ahead and say hi. Okay. So we are going to show you how to make a fish today. Our inspiration, the mighty goldfish. <laughs> we're going to get close up with Okay. Now, how do we start? We've got our fresh clay. It's already been wedged for us, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to use our wire tool to cut off a piece. We really only need about two inches. Now listen, this is really important. Whenever you're using a wire cutter, you always keep the handles the same way. So just pull straight across. You don't ever want to cross the handles because when you do, it creates breaks in the wire like this. And they hurt when you get poked in the finger. So don't do that. Now, we've got our two inch piece of clay. We're going to set it over here. And then we're going to close the bag. Remember, anytime the clay is airing out, it's drying out. And dry clay is no fun to use. Okay. Now, Danny. First thing we got to do is we got to roll out our clay, okay? Now, the best way to do that is to start with two wooden slats on each side. They equal a half of an inch when we stack them like that. Now we're going to take our hand and press the clay down. Go ahead. And just go like that. Good job. Now anytime we're rolling out a big slab of clay, it's important to flip the clay back and forth because as you're rolling the clay, the molecules get stretched on one side. And so if we don't flip the clay and roll it on both sides, then we wind up with a piece of clay like this when it dries out. And nobody wants that, do they? Okay, so now we're gonna roll this out. Alright, so now we have our slab of clay, and you can see it's not a real big slab. Our fish will probably end up being about this big, and that's perfect. If you want to go bigger, that's fine. Alright, now Danny, first thing we've got to do is we got to cut out our fish. And actually, a goldfish is about the shape that we want. We're not going to worry about the tail, we're just going to worry about the rest of it. Okay, so we're going to take our wooden knife, and we're going to cut out basically a football shape like this now a lot of people are thinking how do i get this piece to be you know the same size or the same shape as the next one because we do need two of these well it's not very hard we're just going to pop this one out like yeah and we're going to pop it and we're going to lay it somewhere else now notice See how I cut it out of the edge of the slab of clay? A lot of people try and just cut the piece out of the middle, and then they've got to re-roll the whole thing to get another piece. So it's real easy to just cut it from the side and then trace it out again. Notice I'm not trying to cut all the way through the clay, I'm just trying to trace it. I'll pull this out and now I'll cut through. It's a lot easier when there's nothing on top. Okay, now we're gonna set these pieces to the side. Don't worry, we'll get back to them in a minute. We don't really need our wooden slats anymore, so we can pass these on to somebody else. Now, we're gonna take a piece of clay, and we're just gonna mash it in our hand. Go ahead. Mash it, mash it, mash it. Think about your little sisters and like how frustrated you are. Oh yeah, you like your sisters, I forgot. Okay, keep going. <laughs>
No. Exactly. Okay, so you can get real detailed and crazy about your island, but you really don't have to. We want it to be poking up. We want it to have some interest of some kind, maybe a hollow cavity underneath, but it doesn't have to be crazy big or anything like that. So this is going to be our little island. It's got a little cubby right here and a little cubby back here. We can add some sticks and grass to it later. But notice it's still pretty rough. I haven't done anything to smooth it out, and that's okay. Now, as we start to put our fish together, we have to think about a couple of things. When we put two pieces of clay together that are this thick, we've got to have a hollow area. Because if we don't, it's never going to dry out and it's going to blow up. So, we want a hollow area inside the fish so that his body can be shaped like this. But if we trap the air in there, guess what happens? That's right, it blows up, okay? So, what we do is we take these two football shaped pieces and we mash it together at the top, just like this. Go ahead, you can finish that up. So don't talk while she's doing this. That way we can just fast forward. Okay, so now at this point, the top of our fish has been mashed together. Notice, it's really pretty. Not at all. We're just trying to get it together. Don't worry about trying to make it pretty. Just worry about getting it stuck together. Now, we want to open it up, kind of like a taco or a pita pot. So now it looks like a clam. We're going to pinch the back corner together, and we're going to pinch the front corner together. We're not going to worry about the middle so much. We're going to reach inside and press the clay out. This helps to give the body of the fish depth. We'll do it on both sides. And now at this point, we have to pick what's going to be the front and what's going to be the back. Now, it looks to me like this piece, this end, is already shaping into a tail. So we're going to keep rubbing this just like so, and we're going to make it curved. A fish with a curved tail is a lot more interesting than a fish with a straight tail. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this hole that we have our fish on the bottom here. We're going to poke a hole in our island, just like that, and we're going to attach our fish right over that hole. Now all we have to do is work the fish onto the island. Having this hole underneath here allows us to reach inside and attach the island to the fish from the inside too. Go ahead. Good job. Okay, now Here's how you know if you did a good job attaching your fish to the island. You should be able to hold the fish and the island doesn't come off. Now, the island should be holding the structure of the fish at this point, which makes it so much easier to work on. Sit back a little bit, sweetie, so that she, she can see. So, at this point, the fish is...